What's up you guys? Welcome back to the garage. So yesterday you guys remember we painted um, the brake booster and the rack and pinion. We got all that nice and clean and we got all these brake lines nice and shiny. Everything's nice and dry. Feels really good. Um, today we are going to go ahead, lay some tape on everything, get everything covered up, lay some plastic. I already threw plastic over. And we are going to go ahead afterwards and we are going to scuff all of this. And we are going to attempt to lay some primer. It is kind of late. I don't know if the neighbors are going to complain about the compressor. But with all the circumstances of everything that's been going on, I can only do this at this time. So let's just see how far we get into this before there's a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and just protect everything that I painted already and then we'll start scuffing. Look how I got everything set up so far. The booster is completely covered. My brake lines are all tied off. Wire harness is tied off. There's no need to push that through and disconnect all that. Um, rack and pinion is all tied down. I got the rest of the car all, all taped up. I got all my supplies over there. And I got the hood behind me. I took it off and I set it right here. There is one problem. And that problem is that I do not have the compressor here with me. I completely forgot. I didn't look for it. And the compressor is down the street at Sheldon's. Right now, it's a little bit past midnight. And there's no way in hell I'm going to send him a text message and bother him at this time. So we're just going to wait till tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning I'll contact him and we should have a compressor to lay some primer down. Um, but in the meantime, let's just go ahead and start scuffing all this. I'm going to start with a 400 because of the fact that this body is not bad at all. We don't need anything too rough. So we're going to start with the 400 and work our way up to a 600. And then I'll decide if we go up to the 800 or... Or what we do right there because we are going to lay primer and that's what we're prepping this for before we start sanding we're going to go ahead and use some wax and tar remover and clean the whole surface really quick So I'm hitting everything right now with the 400. I started over there in that corner and I'm gonna make my way all the way around. I just finished sanding the whole engine bay and I wiped everything down one more time with the wax and tar remover after everything was sanded and it's looking really good. I made sure that I sanded those pillars on each side really good because those are the ones that are going to really be standing out and this front clip right here. That's what a lot of people will be looking at, especially when they're standing in front of the 
the vehicle looking at the engine those are like the main the main two but everything's looking good i gotta get my compressor tomorrow and we will lay some high build primer so i'll catch you guys in two seconds what up you guys today is the day after and right now it's kind of late it's around 11 o'clock right now and you guys can see that it's really dark and the neighborhood's nice and quiet but i figure i'm gonna go ahead and crank this compressor as soon as i hear the the train go by because i know that the train is super loud so as soon as that train starts going by i'm cranking this compressor all the way and we are going to attempt to lay some paint at least some primer and then we're going to wait it out lay a second coat of primer i'm going to lay this really 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 heavy and then we'll go from there i'll decide if it needs to be sanded or if we could continue to the next step and just lay some paint we'll take a look but yeah that's the plan for now i'm gonna set everything up because i know this train's gonna be coming through here in like the next 10 minutes or so i got the fan running we got some primer in here some 2k and we're gonna go ahead and just start laying the stuff down i got the compressor loaded also so let's just go ahead and start doing this All right, you guys, so we're off to step number two. Everything looks really good. So I'm not gonna go ahead and sand anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay some paint. This is gonna look really sharp, really good. I am gonna be trying this new thing that I got over at Harbor Freight. I got this at Harbor Freight, really cheap. Comes with the mixing cup, the little sleeve that goes inside and of course the top and then it all snaps together with this little piece that goes on the top right here very simple and it keeps everything a lot cleaner a lot better so i'm going to go ahead get the paint mixed reveal the color of the paint and get it sprayed Look at how pretty this color is. This is definitely gonna look really nice in the engine bay. I got everything into the gun and this new system is pretty cool. I could pretty much shoot in any direction. I have my mask on, I'm going to hit the fan, and I'm going to start spraying. I don't know what's going on over there, but there's a bunch of cops that flew over that way. The train's going by. Let's lay some clear coat.
this is going to pretty much conclude this video you guys um the engine bay is painted obviously we did the color change and it looks beautiful i really like it it's super glossy it looks really good i can't wait to take all this stuff off and reveal what it all looks like together um i'm gonna go ahead and call it a night because it is three in the morning i already cleaned my gun i picked up a little bit and i'm ready to take a shower and go to sleep and I'm not sure when i will continue recording again because you guys already know that the federales keep knocking at my door i don't know what they want with me i don't want to find out either way i'll catch you guys on the next one peace out stay safe catch you guys later 24 hours later All the tape is off. I still got a little bit right here, right there to take off, but. Oh, that's fine. Like button.